everyone, I'm Rochelle with Originally Worn, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to paint fabric so it's washable while creating this super cute table runner. But first, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and share it with a friend. Also, you can find us online at OriginallyWornOnline.com and under Originally Worn on Facebook, Pinterest, and Instagram. Let's get started. So like I said, here is the project we're gonna be doing. And it's actually a long table runner that has this design on two parts. So when you lay it out on your table, you'll be able to see your design on each side and then decorate it in the middle. So here are the things that you're gonna to need to complete this project. I've created this table runner on this blank uh, linen kind of canvas table runner that I got off of Amazon. You're going to need some frog tape, a stencil brush. I have an Annie Sloan stencil brush. Um, you'll need Annie Sloan chalk paint. I'm using the color graphite. This is an important step to this. And I'll be using this Show Offs adhesive screen um, stencil or silk screen stencil. What's weird about them, here's the actual stencil, is that it actually like has full on stuff in between there so it's one solid piece that allows so you don't have to have like the connecting things but it's reusable this is sticky um it's kind of cool i know there's a company now oh i can't think of the name of it that um has made a whole line of these they're very popular and so truly this one is from a couple years ago from hobby lobby use whatever stencil you want this is just for inspiration today one thing first though why the annie sloan paint is key is because they make lots of different like probably more fabric paints of course i have this in my stash but annie sloan paint becomes washable on fabric once it's heat set so this needs no top coat no special additive nothing like that we're going to paint this directly on this cloth and then i'm going to iron it when i'm done but if it's something big like curtains you could also just throw it in the dryer the first step I did was to iron this super smooth. Um, the smoother you can get it, the better. After that's done, I'm gonna be using one inch frog tape. Now I'm using frog tape, tape specifically because I feel like it causes the least amount of bleed through in projects. Um, I'm gonna tape off just a very simple stripe design. Of course, tape off whatever you feel like doing. And I'm actually going to place a piece of tape around the whole outside, then place a piece on the inner part for a spacer. So you just wanna smooth out your edge really well there. And this is what I mean. I don't have to put a whole another line here. This is actually where I'm going to paint. But so I have a consistent line the whole way. I can put these little spacer pieces now when I take them to make the other side of my line, I know that I have a one inch line the whole way down. So you can see there where I have my spacers in between here, that I'm just gonna really push. I mean, you can pull these spacer parts up, save them for the other lines. Push this tape down really good and firm against that fabric. And I'm gonna do the other side. Now we have our stripes laid out. You can see where I cut away the pieces. It kind of gave this little um, check right there, which is, you know, pretty farmhousey and fun, but a really simple way to do that. And you can see on this one, I did a really solid line of the next step, which is totally fine. Um, this one, I'm gonna do a kind of worn away distress line. So you'll be able to see the two different styles. So I'll be using my Annie Sloan graphite. I have an Annie Sloan um, stencil brush here. I'm gonna need a paper towel. 
and basically oh and i'm gonna need something underneath if you put it on really thick um it can soak through fabric this one didn't soak through too much because this is pretty thick canvas but you know in an aspect where it might be like something like a thin cotton curtain you definitely want to have something underneath it so i'm taking a little bit of paint and taking a little bit off there my brush there um, and because I'm going to try to do more of like a distressed one, I'm just going to go very lightly, almost like a dry brush kind of technique. Because you can't really sand this off the fabric. I mean, it might be possible, but it's just easier to put less on there to start. So this, this part is going to take very little paint then. And if you want, you could make where they meet darker just because it'd be like two lines, you know, meeting. Um, totally up to you there. And however, you know, your intensity you want to do. But I'm going to go and do that all over. For our next step, we're going to peel off this inner part of this line here because it fits our stencil perfectly when we do that. If you've made this uh, a thick solid line like I did on the other one, just you know, wait till this is a little bit drier or make sure that you don't wad your tape up on your clean fabric. But there's hardly any extra paint on that. Then take your reusable mesh stencil whatever one you have brand anything like that and stick it down and you can actually use um you know any kind of stencil it's just that these are so cool i remember the company that has them too um this one is called show offs but another company called chalk couture does it that's what they're big on um so you just kind of push him down and then We'll stencil that, same colors and everything, as what I'm gonna do, but of course you can do anything. And it goes right over this. You kinda can push it to your desired look. A big trick in stenciling, um, and it's not as big of a deal in fabric, is that you put a little bit of paint on your brush and then you take it back off so you don't get a huge goober of paint everywhere. Plus, doing a, a swirly motion when you don't have a ton of paint on your brush can really work well, like this. When he's finished, you can kind of peel it up and peek and see if that's you know what you like you so see you can see his tail right there that's probably all the darker i want to do this one because i did this so light so then you just simply peel it off see your design now i'm going to do the same on the other side so then your last step to do with this is you just then Take all your different tape lines off all together. Now you have a very distressed farmhouse kind of country table runner. While your paint is drying, go ahead and wash out your stencil brush and your stencil, if you've used one, um, with just warm water and dish soap and then make sure that you take all your tape off so here we go we have the finished one um once this is dry the paint's actually dry in here which this took about three minutes if you have it on really thick it might take more like 20. once that's dry hit it with a heat source you can iron it you can put it in a dryer anything like that and that will now make this paint and this whole surface washable and it won't come off um so this could be used on t-shirts or full tablecloths or cloth um, banners or flags outside. Truly anything you can think of to paint. It's also now available on fabric. Um, you can see here where I have one that is 
not really distressed and one that's super distressed just really is a personal preference at this point but I hope you guys enjoyed this video and it made you inspired maybe to paint something that you hadn't thought about painting before this works great for personalizing things to your liking all over your house be sure to subscribe to originally worn on YouTube and as always you can find us online at originallywornonline.com and at Facebook, Pinterest, and Instagram under Originally Worn. Happy painting!